Today we are talking about the first ever Silver Power Ranger, the sixth ranger from Power Rangers in Space, Zane. So Zane was born as a human on the planet KO-35, along with Andros and his sister Karone. The three were adept in telekinesis. Zane became Andros' best friend and was, at times, the only one who could make Andros smile or laugh. When the two of them became Power Rangers, it was a dream come true. But Dark Spectre launched attack after attack on their home planet of KO-35. In the midst of one of the battles, Zane saw that Andros was in trouble when he was engaging with a red statue monster. Without a second thought for himself, Zane leapt in front of Andros and took an attack meant for him, saving his friend's life but leaving him mortally wounded. Unable to treat Zane's wounds properly, Andros placed him in a cryogenic tube in a hidden compartment in the Astro Megaship, in the hopes of someday restoring him. Then for two whole years, Andros watched over his friend hoping for any sign of him awakening. After crash landing on another planet and being attacked by scavengers, Zane's life support briefly failed. But he suddenly reappeared as the Silver Ranger, helping his fellow Rangers in the battle. Zane proved himself a valuable asset early on when he defeated Ecliptor single-handedly, a feat that all other five Rangers, even working together, struggled in doing, showing just how powerful Zane is. Despite being overjoyed at Zane's return, Andros briefly struggled with his presence among his newfound friends since his hibernation. After learning that Ashley was interested in learning telekinesis, Zane was happy to teach her how to focus her thoughts, but Andros quickly grew suspicious of Zane's motivations, suspecting he was trying to endear himself to Ashley over himself. But the friction was brief and the two reconciled soon afterwards. However, during the battles that would follow, Zane's powers began to randomly, inexplicably fail, forcing him to demorph during battles. He knew that he needed some help, but was still reluctant to tell the other rangers about his problem. He found Alpha-6 and told him of his problem, although an ease drop in Cassie and Andros misinterpreted this information and thought that Zane was revealing that he was actually dying. The two then went and informed the other rangers and they all agreed to make Zane's final days as comfortable as possible. Much to his amusement, Zane realised what the other rangers thought and couldn't resist playing along. He would eventually discover the reason he couldn't stay more for very long was due to his powers leaking as a result of him remaining in his morphed form over the course of two years while he was in that cryogenic suspension, meaning he'd have to manually recharge them. He discovered an electric storm later on and used its raw energy to repower his morpher back to full maximum strength. Upon returning to the ship, completely unaware that the other rangers had learned the truth, Zane was pressured into admitting he had taken advantage of his friend's misunderstanding, leaving him covered in cleaning supplies. Later on, after saving Astronomer from one of her own monsters, Zane tended to her needs in a marsh. Once she awakened, Zane had her taste a roasted marshmallow. Seeing a smile on her face lightened Zane's day. Astronomer left with a quick thank you, but reminded him that they were enemies now and forever. Although Zane realised that he did have a romantic interest in the Princess of Darkness, and she was interested in the Silver Ranger in return. Not long after, Zane would receive a note from Astronomer saying she wanted to meet him at the campfire. Zane was excited and raced back to the Astro Mega ship to get ready for his date. However, he was called into duty to stop a monster and later went to see Astronomer, but arrived extremely late, which of course made Astronomer very angry. So angry, in fact, that she blasted him. She said that she never wanted to see him again, and Zane was left devastated. He just stood there, torched and defeated. The other rangers tried to get Zane to talk to them, but he could hardly tell them that his heart had been broken by the Princess of Evil. As time passed, Zane of course recovered from his encounter with Astronomer. He still cared for her, but he got on with his life. Andros and Zane eventually discovered the rebels of KO-35, who were hiding from Dark Spectre. Realising the rebels needed more manpower in order to survive, Zane opted to stay behind with the rebels, reducing the rangers to five once more. He would eventually return to help the rangers stop an asteroid with his new Mega Winger. When this mission was completed, he joined the others back on the Astro Mega ship. He was told that Astronomer was actually Andros's missing sister, Corone, and he admitted that he did go on a date with her as Astronomer, giving both of them hope that one day they can help Corone. Although he almost always opted to act on his own, Zane continued to return and offer his friends help as much as possible. 
He helped the Rangers with their various battles and eventual defeat of the Psycho Rangers, even going so far as to disguise himself as the Psycho Silver while his teammates were all Blue Rangers. Later, when Dark Spectre launched a full-scale attack on the universe and while Andros went to the Dark Fortress to take on his sister, Zane led the other Rangers in the battle on Earth. The Rangers, with the help of the citizens of Angel Grove, never gave up and continued to defend their planet. As they were fighting, Zordon's wave of energy demorphed the Rangers and destroyed all of the villains on Earth. Zane and the Rangers returned to KO-35 to help the refugees settle in and return to Earth to lead a new life. Zane's whereabouts are then unknown due to the fact that he didn't show up to help his teammates when they appeared in Lost Galaxy, helping the Galaxy Power Rangers battle the returning Psycho Rangers once again. It's assumed that he is still on Earth leading a new life while protecting it from other threats. He did later, however, return as part of the legendary battle alongside his fellow space teammates to help take on an army of x and Bruisers. Whether or not you choose to consider this battle canon is totally up to you, I guess. Overall, I think Zayn is a fantastic Sixth Ranger, and I really like to think that he and Corone rekindled their relationship perhaps sometime after her time as the Lost Galaxy Ranger, and that he continued to fight the good fight on Earth. Okay guys, that is it for Zayn. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of his character. How does he rank amongst the Sixth Rangers? Let's discuss down below. Don't forget to comment and let me know which Ranger you would like to see a video on next. I'm uploading at least three videos a week, so there is loads to get through. And if you haven't seen, we have recently released the official Sixth Ranger merchandise. The link for that is in the description if you're interested in checking that out and supporting the channel. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. May the power protect you and I will see you next time on the Sixth Ranger.